a duets album, me singing with you know, my heroes, my friends. The first person that I, I contacted for the album was Glenn Shorrick. When he said, you know, the great Glenn Shorrick, yeah, Chris, I'll be there. It was like holding the phone going, oh, Glenn Shorrick. Fantastic. I presented a song to Hank Marvin, for instance, it was one of mine that left a lot of scope for him to play over the top of. Um, and he jumped at it, he thought it was a really great song. Someone like uh, Joe Camilleri, um, we were toing and froing, throwing songs at each other for quite a while before we came up with an old Rolling Stones song, uh, Factory Girl. Wait for a factory girl. I had to have some girls on the album, so uh, once again I'd worked with Vanetta Fields, who is uh, you know, probably most famous in this country for, for singing with John Farnham for so many years. She's an amazing singer and a wonderful lady. So I asked her and straight off she went, yeah, Chris, that'd be great. Somebody's on your case, better get on the job. Standing around a microphone with Mark Gable trying to sing rock and roll, it's a pretty daunting experience. You're talking about my rock and roll heroes here, Run to Paradise. Uh, you know, I've been singing in bands since I was, you know, this big. He's going, wow, oh, come on. And I'm like, <laughs> Oh, please, just sound good. Dear Lord, let me sound good for this one moment, you know. At the end of the day, music is music, and musicians just enjoy, you know, making that, that beautiful thing. If I wasn't making this album, if this wasn't my baby, I'd buy it, you know, I'd love it. Very, very proud of it. It's, it's certainly the best thing I've done to date. And now is the time. Now